A weighted average, also called a weighted mean, is an average where some values count more than others. In other words, some values have more weight. Each value to be averaged is assigned a certain weight. Students' grades are calculated using a weighted average. Excel does not have a special weighted average function. Often, students' grades are calculated using weighted average. The project work and midterms count twice as much as the homework and the finals count three times as much as the homework. Normal average is calculated by adding all the scores and dividing by the number of scores. We can calculate a weighted average by multiplying the values to average by corresponding weights, then dividing the sum of results by the sum of weights. Use this formula. When you have large number of values to average, this formula becomes too big. You can use the sum product function that multiplies range of cells or arrays and returns the sum of products. Use this formula. The sum product multiplies the first value in range 1 by first value in range 2, then second value in range 1 by second value in range 2 and so on. When all the multiplications are done, the function adds up the products and returns that sum. The values to be averaged or weights can be expressed as a percentage. To find the weighted average for a list of students in column A, enter the scores in column B, C, etc. Enter weights in row 2. Use this formula. Use absolute reference for weights range to copy the formula down. You will get a pound value error if both the ranges pass to some product or of different dimensions. You can also enter weights as vertical range. The sum product function requires that array dimensions be compatible. If dimensions are not compatible, sum product will return a pound value error. When you try to use the weights listed in a vertical range, in this formula, we get a pound value error. To calculate a weighted average with the same formula, we need to flip the weights into a horizontal array with the transpose function. The transpose function converts the vertical array into horizontal array before passing it to some product, which returns the weighted average. Copy the formula down to get weighted average of other students. To download example Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.